All right, we got one bottle cap in here, and we got uh, quite a fire going. And we're gonna see if I can. Uh, for starters, we're gonna melt this down. See if I can get it to um, kind of like a, a liquid, I guess, molten. And uh, after that, I'm gonna add more plastic and see if we can uh, come up with something. Alrighty, it, it's melting fairly well, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, add more plastic. Alrighty, this is about what we're looking at right now. It's uh, melting pretty good, I would say. Guess we just gotta give it a little more time. Oh, and it's in fire. It's on fire on the inside. That's great. Let's see if I can blow that out. <laughs> Does it really matter though? Alright, I'm not sure if it should be uh, on fire on the inside of it. But uh, I'm just going to let it burn like this and uh, just see how it turns out. I think it's going quite well. With how it's melting. Jesus. Smoke follows me. It's destroying my eyeballs. I'm just going to... Yeah, this might be a little too big. I might have to you know, just bend it, see if I can get it in there. There we go. It's definitely molten. I would hate to get covered in that. Look at how liquid that is. Let's see if we can pour. All right, we're gonna see if we can pour this into this. By the way, I don't have a cameraman, so that's the best I could do for a first pour, and as you can tell, it kind of went uh, kind of poorly. Um, there is some in there, indeed. There is. But uh, with the smoke getting in my eyes, it made it quite hard to pour. So uh, I'm going to have to melt some more down and uh, see if we can get this whole thing full. It's about a quarter of a way, if I had to say. Alrighty, I uh, I filled this uh, the pot up until uh, all the all the plastic was molten. Then I uh, dumped it into the into the uh, into the can. Jesus, and uh, dang smoke! I dumped it into the can, and then I uh, I plopped this over top of it and uh, threw sand around it so that uh, I could suffocate it and kill the uh, kill the fire that was in there. And I've given it about uh, three or four minutes to kind of, uh, you know, let the fire die. I'm gonna see what happened. Try not to get any sand into it. Look at that. Just absolutely molten. We're going to have to give this a couple minutes to cool down. Give my eyes a couple minutes to relax from all this, uh, all this smoke. I should just dip my finger in it, see how it feels. <laughs> that would be awful. 
All right, let's uh, let's give this a little bit to cool down and see uh, how it comes out. All right, it's uh, it's bubbling a little bit less now, but it's still clear liquid. And uh, oh, oh, it is bubbling a little bit. Or no, never mind, that's smoke. But uh, well, this is uh, cooling off. Over here, I got a uh, second batch going on. I only got like two or three more of these. Uh, I guess coffee containers so uh, we're not gonna get too much from this batch um, but we're just gonna just gonna melt down anyway just to uh, get out of the way have some little what's it called the uh, ingots ignigots have a couple of uh, those laying around this is what I got between the two this is the one uh, that was there originally I looked inside and it kind of looks like there's a uh, cracks forming but it's still a liquid and uh, this one's about, I don't know, less than half of it. And uh, it just got poured. So uh, I'm going to add a little water to this pot. Cool it down maybe a little faster, I'm going to hope. See how it turns out. This may take a while. Alrighty, this is my uh, my final cast. Uh, this is how it came out. It's not perfect at the bottom. It's uh, quite beat up, but I do like the design in it. There's a couple cracks, but that's fine. That can be fixed when I uh, remelt it. Uh, right now, it's just uh, a ignigant, an ignant whatever you pronounce it I'm gonna pronounce it ignigot so uh we uh, have two holes here they don't look very deep but uh without a light I can't really tell let's see if I can get this to focus come on there you go This was about 90% um, of the uh, the can is right here. It's still a little warm to the touch. I didn't wait till it was completely cooled down because I'm impatient. So uh, it could probably have turned out better. But um, just for a little bar to uh, to keep and to be able to uh, to melt and cast later using, uh, I'd assume, clay, sand, and uh, other things. This, uh, this this works perfectly. You, now you can store it, and it'll be uh, very easy to uh, to pull out, cut off how much you need, drop in, and uh, cast whatever you need. Now it's still soft enough so that if I uh, if I push down on it, I can uh, warp it a little bit. Down here, it's uh, not very warm. It's more towards uh, right about here to here. The core is uh, pretty pretty warm to the touch, but uh, that, but uh, that's all right. I uh, actually figured out how to do this from a um, another YouTube channel. Um, I'll leave a uh, link to the uh, the original video in the description, but uh, it was on recommended, and I clicked on it and. Uh, he melted the plastic down in a uh, in a different way, using a uh, oven and I assume wax paper. But uh, I took that idea, and uh, I, I did it my own way with uh, with a pot and a fire and uh, whatever not. And uh, I think it turned out quite well for a uh, for the first time ever doing this. 
I've uh, never worked with uh, melting metal or plastic or uh, anything else. So uh, I th I'm quite impressed on how this turned out. Who knows, maybe I can uh, see how much of this it takes to stop a bullet. That would be quite interesting. Like, comment, and subscribe. Stay frosty.